everyone, I'm Ellie, and today we're going to be working on an accessory for my new Ichigo costume. We completed this costume about a month ago, and I am totally in love with it. I can't wait to wear it to SakuraCon, which is coming up at the end of the month. I wanted to have something to really complete my costume and make it stand out. And let's be honest, what good is a magical girl without her animal-like sidekick? So I'm going to be making a plush of Masha, which is the robot from the series, which acts as Ichigo's sidekick. I'm super duper excited to make something so cute and fluffy, and it should be pretty easy too. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first step is going to be gathering our materials like this polyfill, pink fur, red boa trim, craft foam, and some paint. With all my tools together and my references at hand, we're going to start on this plush. The first step is adding a dart into our fur. This way Masha can be round instead of being a flat plush. Once I had darts in both of my pieces of fabric, I tested it over my polyfill to make sure that it was poofy enough. And then I was able to trace the shape of Masha's body onto my fur. Masha has lots of bits and bobs sticking out of him, and to make them, I'm going to be using craft foam. First, we're making the ears, which I three-handed onto our craft foam and cut out. And now I'm going to test them against my fur to see if they are the right shape and size. Now it's time for us to paint the ears. I'm just using one layer of basic acrylic paint because I want to make sure that they can still move and bend and not crack. We're making the shape for Masha's wings. I'm using a much thicker craft foam for this and simply tracing out the shape that I want them to be. Once I've figured out a good shape, I'm going to cut them out with my scissors and again hold it up to Masha's body and see if they look correct. This thicker foam can be very tricky to cut. It's thick enough that you can get a bevel on it, so if you have a beveling tool, I definitely suggest using that. Otherwise, be very aware of what direction you're cutting in because it will affect the way that your shape looks. And now we're gonna paint the wings. I'm using a red leather paint because it's what I had on hand. And we're gonna paint both sides. For the wings, it's very, very important to make sure that we get the edges since it is the thicker craft foam and I don't want those huge white edges on our plush. Once the edges are painted, I finish the front side and once that's dry, I'll flip it over and do the back. Masha also has these huge eyes, which I'm going to be making out of craft foam. I trace around a circle and cut out four copies. Two copies will be the whites of his eyes, and the other two I'm going to paint pink. The other two copies I have to make sure are smaller than the others, so I go through and trim off the excess foam. Once I like their size, I go ahead and paint them pink with the same acrylic paint as the ears. As our paint dries, I take a quick Love Live break. And now we can get back to work. Everything is dry and we are able to put our plush together. So I take my ears and I put them inside my two layers of fabric. I'm going to be sewing right over the craft foam. Craft foam is great in that you can sew on it. You have to be aware that sometimes it will rip, but you can sew it, which is awesome. I also stick the wings inside as I want to be able to do it all in one stitch. So we go ahead and stitch that all together. And now we very carefully turn it inside out. It's kind of difficult with those foam accessories, but we made it work. Oh, it looks so cute already. Now I grab some polyfill and fill him up until he is nice and poofy. I don't want him to be too stiff, but I do want him to be stiff enough. Now I'm putting the bottom edges together and I will stitch those together with a blind stitch by hand. I'm also inserting the tail, which is a feather boa that I trimmed off most of the feathers from. Once that's been stitched together, it's time to add the eyes. 
I glued together our two pieces of foam and now I'm going to be hot gluing our eyes onto our plush. I made sure to part the fur where I'm going to be gluing it so that way it sticks to the fabric and not just the loose strands of fur. Once we've attached both the eyes, I'm adding his blush, which is a little bit of paint that I have watered down. And I'm going to be brushing through the paint to make sure it is blended in and it isn't clumpy and it keeps our fur nice and soft. Now that I've finished both cheeks, the final step is attaching a clear thread to the top of his head. This way I can hold him and it doesn't look like I'm holding him, but rather like he's floating. And with that, we are done. Masha came out so cute. I think he's gonna add such a fun element to my costume. I love that he's super squishy, which is awesome and fluffy, and he just looks like he's out there having a bunch of fun. I can't wait to wear him. I'm hoping I can use him in lots of photos, you know, holding him up, or maybe I'll even tie him up in a tree during my photo shoot. I can't wait, it is going to be so much fun. So if you guys are going to soccer con, make sure you leave a comment below or go to my Facebook or Instagram and let me know. I would love to meet you or see you or whatever, you know, it would be so much fun. So make sure that you let me know if you're going to be there. Can't wait to see you all and thank you so much for tuning in. As always, if you enjoyed the video or if it was helpful to you, make sure that you leave a comment, a like, or even subscribe. It does mean the world to me. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you had a great time and we'll see you next week. Until then, keep sewing, stay positive, and have fun. I'll see you all later. Bye!